यार आज मैगी खाने का मन कर रहा है आज पक्का बारिश होने वाली है क्यों कोई सिग्नल आया क्या आज मैं उसको प्रपोज करने वाली हूँ क्यों कोई सिग्नल आया क्या अभी तो ये बाय बनता है क्यों कोई सिग्नल आया क्या या Hey folks, CA Rachna Ranade here and I welcome you all to a very important video which is about how to interpret the NACD indicator. Now this is a concept which many people know only with respect to the crossover. So the moment they see the crossover they will be like, Arre signal aya and they will jump into the trade. But ideally that should not be done. You should know the logic behind MACD. You should understand the concept behind MACD and then decide whether to take a trade based on this or not. But there is one thing for sure which does not need Need any signal and what is that to smash the like button now this next section I want your attention because this one will not only talk about the various concepts of MACD we are also going to go and understand the logics behind what is the MACD line how is it formed what is the signal line how is it formed what is the histogram what are the values that we can see on all these lines everything we are going to understand in this specific chunk of the video right whenever it people talk about macd they are like ah, it's easy just click on indicators type macd just click here and ta -da, the macd indicator appears but wait now let's try and understand few basic questions when did nika get listed it got listed on 10th of november right but can you see the macd line here on 10th of november no Da, 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 da. And this is where we can see the first point of the blue line that is the MACD line that appears on 16th of December. Here we can see that okay MACD line that is the blue line I can see but where is the orange line or the signal line. The signal line or the orange line the very first instance we can see is on 28th of December and that is the date when the first histogram is also formed. Okay so three lines three points I told right now blue line MACD line. Then came the signal line and that was the same day when we saw the histogram for the very first time. Now the question is that how are these lines formed and what is the indication of blue line being on top of this orange line? What is this green histogram? If I am on this point you can see the values on the left hand side when you can see that the MACD line value is minus 59.36, orange line value is minus 74.68 and the histogram value is 15.32 but what does this exactly mean and how did the software calculate these values so i think for that we can just take a very simple example this is a simulation example through which you'll be able to understand very nicely the concept of macd now assume that we are talking about a stock whose stock price i know this is a little bit theoretical to kick start with but that's how you'll go to you're going to understand the concept right assume that a stock got listed and it got listed at 100 then next day it went up to 101 then it went up to 103 then up to 106 can you see some pattern here yes it went up by 1 rupee here it went up by 2 rupees then by 3 rupees then by 4 rupees then by 5 rupees then by 6 rupees are you with me yes and same pace it's going on increasing here for example la 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 from 15th day to 16th day it went up by 15 rupees then by 16 up to what now let us understand 15 yeah that's 16 okay and now this is the day 18th day where is there a growth yes from 236 it has gone up to 250 but the pace at which it is growing has gone down so here the growth was instead of 16 rupees growth here is only 14 rupees now growth is only 13 rupees now growth is only i hope you are understanding this it's, it's, it's going down and down and down till 25th day to 26th day now growth is only by 6 rupees here growth is only by 5 rupees and then you will understand that at one point in time here from 335 to 338 again 3 rupees 2 rupees 1 rupee till 340 okay finish wait 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 from 330 to 340 there was 2 rupees increase then 1 rupee increase then what happened first time we saw a degrowth degrowth happened on the 32nd day correct and from here the degrowth is at an increased pace so for example here the there was a decline only by 1 rupee now here you can see by 2 rupees here you can see by 3 rupees la 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 and on the last day that i have taken the degrowth or the slip is by 7 rupees simple this is how i have plotted the price now let's understand this 12 ema ema typically is exponential moving average 26 ema is again the 26 days exponential moving average but 
to simplify the entire calculation, I've taken a simple moving average rather than an exponential moving average, right? So now tell me how is this point formed? This point will be obviously formed. This will be an average of the latest 12 days, correct? How will this point be formed? This will again be an average of immediate previous 12 days and so on and so forth. So I hope you have understood how this 12 days EMA is calculated, right? Now, what is the next column? Next column is 26 EMA. Now, let's understand 26 EMA will be calculated by what? Average of latest 26 days. Same point will go here for 207 average of immediate previous 26 days. Okay. Now, I as a person, how am I going to interpret this data of 12 day moving average and 26 day moving average? 100 percent attention. According to this data, last 26 days average price understand last 26 days average price was how much 198 okay and the immediate previous 12 days average was 275 correct 26 days average 198 immediate previous 12 days average is 275 can i say last 12 days price was performing better as compared to last 26 days that answer is yes and this is where the question comes up as to how this 77 was derived. It's simple. It is derived by deducting the 26 days moving average from 12 days moving average. So here the MACD line ka first point comes into play which is 77. Now you can see 77, the next one is 78, the next one is 79 and this is the day, the 29th day where you can see the degrowth happening for the very first time. So now this degrowth which started at 77, then you can see 77, uh, started at 78, it went down to 77, 74, la 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 and you can see the degrowth continuously till the end in our example where it is just 32, right? Now the question comes up is that how is this signal line formed? Because here you can see the MACD line ka first point came up on the 26th day. How about the signal line? Signal line came up, the very first point came up on the 34th day. Why? Because signal line is derived by taking an average, a 9 days average of the MACD line. So MACD line ka all 9 days points you are taking and dividing by 9 and that's where we get 74. Now let's understand how is, oh, achha, by the way, so on and so forth. So latest 9 days ka average, again latest 9 days ka average. Here you can see, again latest 9 days ka average. I hope you have understood how signal line is also derived. Now the question is that, what is this histogram and what is the interpretation of that? See histogram, again very simple. It's calculated by deducting the signal line ka point from MACD line ka point. So here you can see, histogram is coming at minus 11, means what? So for that we need to understand signal line 74 means what? 100% attention. This 74 means that the last 9 days average of the MACD line points was 74. In simple words, last 9 days MACD average, if it is 74, then I am comparing this average with what? With 62 which is that day's MACD lines point. Can I say on this day, that is the 34th day, MACD point, MACD line ka point underperformed its own average. On average of how much? 74. And it underperformed by how much? It underperformed by 11 points. Okay. Again, you can see that this underperformance is keeping on increasing from 11 to 14 to la 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 till 23. Simple till here. Now, let's see how this actually is Matlab seen in practical life. Here you can see 77 to 70, uh, from 78 to 77, 74, da, 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 it is going down to 32. So quickly tell me, visualize, will the MACD line be, be seen as an upward line or a downward line? Obviously, it will be seen as a downward line. Can we see a similar line here? Absolutely, yes. Here in Nika, we can see a downward going line. Here, even in the beginning, you can see it's a downward moving line. Means what? If it's a downward line, it means that the latest 12 days moving average ka strength is going on decreasing as compared to latest 26 days ka moving average, right? So with this as an understanding, now you can understand that here where MACD line is also there, signal line is also there and histogram is also there on 28th of December for NICA. What can we see? The blue line, what is the uh, point for that? Minus 59.36. Oh my God, what do we mean by minus 59.36? 
इट मीन्स दैट लास्ट ट्वेल्व डेज प्राइस वॉज परफॉर्मिंग बैड एज कम्पेयर टू लास्ट ट्वेंटी सिक्स डेज का प्राइस एंड दैट इज वाई द पॉइंट ऑफ एम एस इज कमिंग एज माइनस फिफ्टी नाइन पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स हाउ अबाउट माइनस सेवेंटी फोर पॉइंट सिक्स एट दिस इज अगेन वर्स वाई बिकॉज द एम एस सी डी द सिग्नल लाइन इज गोट टू बी एन एवरेज नाइन डेज एवरेज ऑफ एम एस सी डी लाइन ना हाउ अबाउट द हिस्टोग्राम हिस्टोग्राम विल बी कैलकुलेटेड लाइक माइनस Minus seventy four, so mathematics. It's standard mathematics. Minus minus plus, and that's why you can see that fifteen is a positive figure for the histogram. Here you can see that histogram is increasing and then flattish, and the moment it goes below zero, here you can see in red. Same here you can see in red. So basically, if the value is below zero, it will go in red. If the value is above zero, it will come up in green. Oof! I hope you have understood what was twelve days moving average, what was twenty six days moving average, what is MACD line, what is signal line, and what is histogram. But one last final question, which remains unanswered, is people many a times say that MACD is a lagging indicator, and why is that? See here, if you see that the price starts to fall, the strength basically, the strength in the in the price starts to fall on day eighteen, right? You can also see from here, here. the price increase was by 16 here it was by 14 and here it is first time by 13 and then by 12 then by 11 so here which day 18th day when the price actually the pace of the price the strength in the price started to fall when was this reflected in macd line this was reflected in macd line on 29th day right so i hope you have understood this macd line gave the indicator on 29th day whereas the price gave this on the 18th day itself and that is the only reason why we call this as a lagging indicator now comes the most important part of the video where i am going to talk about what is swing trade how to use it how effective it is we are also going to talk about one practical example but i am sure before that there's one big question on your mind when you say that ma'am right now our entire money is blocked in the market to investing ke liye chodo we don't have a lot of money left for our leisure spends or even for our necessities so what do you think why were credit cards made for for your day to day necessities and also for your day to day leisure expenses if you want short term liquidity i think that's where you can leverage on any credit card in this case i believe that indusind bank legend credit card can help you out and not only you can utilize the limit on the card on the go but you can also get rewarded with a lot of perks and benefits every time you use the card for your spends you can also earn up to 2x reward points on your weekend spends and the best part is that the rewards never expire so no jhanjhat of remembering the expiry date of the reward points and if you want you can convert these points to cash to even pay or settle your bills if you are a movie freak like me you can also buy one and get one movie ticket which is booked through book my show and not only that you can also get 25% to 50% discount every time you eat out at your favorite restaurant with the complimentary one year easy diner prime membership that comes with this card further if you travel often again like me then you can also get two complimentary domestic lounges visit in a quarter and access to 600 plus lounges across the world using the complimentary priority pass also if shopping is on your mind you get discounted foreign currency markup charges of 1.8% on all international transactions Yes, so many benefits in just one card. So, or kya chahiye, bhai? So, if you want to grab your own Indusind Legend credit card, just head on to the link in the description box below. Just open the link, submit the basic details, and you are done. But one disclaimer: also ensure that you are spending wisely. Well, now that you have understood a lot of things about MACD indicator, uh, now let's understand why is it called as a swing trading indicator, right? Typically, a swing trade is a trade wherein you buy a specific stock or sell a specific stock. Basically, you take a trade and you exit that trade in a span of roughly around two days to ten days. I'm talking about working days, right? So that is typically called as a swing trade. It's actually like you enter the motion, you enjoy the motion, and you just get out of the stock with Good profits. That is the thought process behind a swing trade. 
If I'm talking about MACD, then when whenever there is a bullish crossover, bullish crossover means what? The blue line, that is the MACD line, cuts the orange line from below. We call it as a buy signal. Now you know the meaning. Orange line was the nine-day average of the MACD line itself. If MACD line is outperforming its own average, it means that it is showing strength, and that is why we buy the stock. Had it happened the opposite way, that MACD line is cutting the signal line from above. What does that mean? Now the MACD line is underperforming its own average and that is the reason why we assume that this should be ideally a sell call, right? So when should we ideally use this for swing trading? When are there great chances or when does the probability increase to make profits in swing trading while using MACD indicator? Please understand this. Typically, this works well in trending markets. Currently, are we in trending markets? As I shoot the video, answer is no. Right now, we are into more of sideways, a little bit bearish kind of a market. When markets are in an up move, you remember that V-shaped recovery. Typically, typically that category of swinging market, uptrending market, that is the time when this indicator will work really well. But do I use this in isolation? My answer is no. I generally club it up with other indicators like RSI or uh, something like price action, Bollinger Band and then I take my final trade. But if I were to give you a simple example on Bajaj Finance, just have a look at this. Now you can see here that on 23rd or 22nd of October, you can see that there is just an early indication of a possible MACD crossover, right? So if there is some person who is believing that, okay, right now markets are trending and ideally this crossover is about to happen, maybe a person can wait for a day or two and assume that person enters into the trade at this date on 22nd or 23rd October. Let's understand what happens. So this is the price on 22nd. The close price is 3,314. Now see what happens to this. Da, 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 okay, 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 okay. Fine, pause. Ideally, as we mentioned, that we should get out of the stock in the span of 3 to 10 days, right? So, even if that be so, and if I'm taking from 23rd October for next 8 to 10 bars, see, this is 10 bars, 18.9% or, oh no, to be more precise, 20.2% returns in 10 days. So this is the magic of swing trading. In fact, it has still gone up and up and up. But this is where you can see a bearish crossover happening. And here you can see that the price has started to go a little bit in a sideways trend. I hope you have understood how MACD indicator works in practical life. Before we move on to the next section of the video, please, please, please remember this. Will this happen every single time? Answer is no. This, the probability of winning increases if you use these indicators wisely in combination with other indicators. Oof, I hope you enjoyed this information packed video wherein we talked about how an MACD line is formed, how a signal line is formed, how is the histogram formed, what do we actually mean by blue line cutting the orange line either from below or from above. Then we talked about what is a swing trade. We talked about the time frame. We said that it works really well in trending markets. We also said that ideally MACD is not to be used in isolation. The winning probability will increase if you club it up with many other indicators. But if you like this video, don't forget to share it with your friends. Don't also forget to check the link in the description box. And if you want to learn more and more about concepts like option chain, you can click here. And if you want to know about a fundamentally strong stock under 100, you can click here. Till then, take care. Jai Hind and bye bye.